Hey, Mike here, and today let's talk about which Apple laptop is the best for UI design. For the last 10 years we've been working exclusively on Apple laptops and this is because we've been using Sketch and Sketch is Mac only. So the reason to use laptops is because we work quite a lot in uh, cafes and we travel quite a lot so it's a lot easier to just take your workspace with you. We just got ourselves a 2020 MacBook Air, that's the middle tier so it's an i5 and 16 gigs of RAM and um, we wanted to test it against all the other laptops that we've been using in the last few years. So is this laptop good enough for Sketch? And of course, if you're gonna do more than just UI design, so things like uh, 3D graphics or video editing, it's gonna be better if you go with a MacBook Pro and probably it's best to go with the larger one because it has a much better GPU. But if you want to design UIs and do interactions, so work in Sketch, Envision Studio, UX Pin, and things like that, then I think that most MacBooks work the same. So I'm currently working on a 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro from 2016 and it's a Core i7 processor with 16 gigs of RAM. And it really works perfectly for all my use cases. And before that I was using a 13 inch MacBook Pro from 2011 and even before that I was using an 11 inch MacBook Air which had a horrible low res display and it was very small and had a very slow processor as well. But what's funny that I was able to actually do most of my work on it and the thin and light uh, form factor was actually very easy to travel with. We are working quite a lot in uh, coffee shops or in restaurants and traveling and I think that having a very light laptop that doesn't really strain you when you put it on your lap or you can easily carry around across the city, it's pretty good. So. Do you really need a big heavy laptop to do your UI work? So we ran a little test on a pretty large and pretty complex sketch file and here are the results. So first of all, how long does it take uh, before you click the little diamond icon for the sketch interface to actually appear? So on the 12 inch MacBook it took 2.67 seconds, then on the 13 inch MacBook Air it took 2.31 seconds and on the 15 inch MacBook Pro it took 1.8 seconds. So as you can see the differences are really not that big and it doesn't really matter, you can wait the extra second if the computer is gonna be half the wait. Okay, so now uh, the second test was loading a pretty big and complex document and um, the 12 inch MacBook took 24.7 seconds, then the 15 inch took 18.4 and surprisingly the 13 inch MacBook Air took 13.7 seconds for the same document, which actually may be attributed to it being very fresh and not really bloated with a lot of software. Or maybe the new i5 is just simply faster. But working on the document doesn't really matter which computer we're using because it's pretty much the same across and only some operations like zooming quite a lot and rapidly is actually making the smaller MacBooks lag a little bit. But everything else works pretty smoothly and you can really work on this little computer that's just the weight of an iPad and it's just as small. So I'm actually using this computer as my travel laptop because the MacBook Pro has this horrible keyboard so I keep it connected to an external display, the one behind me pretty much all the time. And the weight difference between this one and the MacBook Pro is really significant. So if it's a short trip and I need to do some small adjustments to a project, this computer will work just fine. So the bottom line is if you're working with Sketch, anything with an i5 inside will work just fine. And you can go with 16 gigs of RAM if you want the documents to load faster. But even if you go with eight and you're mostly working on simple apps that are just uh, 20 to 40 screens, then you'll be just fine with even 8 gigs. Because I think that uh, we're kind of lucky as UI designers and UX designers that what we do isn't really that intensive on the processor. So the computers that we're using don't really need to be heavy and super powerful. You can use pretty much any laptop as long as it has that i5 because you're gonna need a little bit of performance, but it's really not that much. And well, of course, I'm still waiting for a sketch to run on the iPad Pro. And if that happens, it's gonna be my main machine. And the new MacBook Air is actually a very good choice for UI design, because it's fast enough for most things that you'll be doing on it, and it has a much better keyboard than all the previous versions, 
And all of that in a very thin and light package, which makes it really good to work in a coffee shop or while traveling. Yeah, so what laptop and what apps are you using yourself and does it work great or do you need more performance? And of course, over the years, we've worked on very large projects as well that spend hundreds of screens on dozens of pages in one sketch file. And I can honestly say that even the smaller MacBook works quite well on those. Sure, it takes a little longer to load them, but once you're in, it actually works pretty well. Okay, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.